Hey guys, this is Rec. Welcome to The Wolf Among Us. This game was requested for me to LP by Fireweaver, who is in the um, recording booth. Hello. So I don't know much about this game. Is it about a, a young kid working for a brokerage firm getting involved in sex, drugs, and fraud? I think that's The Wolf on Wall Street. Oh, damn it. Wrong wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually saw that movie, but I'm glad I got the reference. <laughs> also, the kid on Wall Street uh, goes to London and um, and has a fantastic adventure where he gets knocked back in time, whereupon he later manages to get himself on a boat and draw a woman naked and then fall to his death in the icy... I see. I was trying to make a Titanic joke. It didn't really come off very well. I'm very sorry about that. Anyway... Um, so, we'll get into the game very shortly, but first I wanted to preface this with, if you have never played this game before, and you don't want spoilers, please buy it yourself before you watch this playthrough. Um, with all Telltale games, there is an effect the game has, if you're playing through it for the first time, where you can't replicate it if you've seen it before, so please, buy this game before you play it, or before you watch me play it. Um... Also, buy the game before you play it, because piracy's bad. Don't be a pirate. Yar har fail DD. Um, seriously, who would pirate a Telltale game? That's like kicking Jesus in the gonads. <laughs> like, <laughs> you pick this up on, like, humble bundles and things as it happens, so... Yeah, that's You cool. know, you're taking money from children at that point. Oh, man, that's just terrible. <laughs> we've, we started yeah. this episode with Titanic jokes and talking about stealing from orphans. Off to a great start, Fireweaver. <laughs> we are just... We are just rolling along here. All right, so... it be a let, great series. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> I need to change my save file. <laughs> of course. Freaking so stupid. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh my god, you're howling like a wolf. <laughs> I'm getting into character, okay? Just just give me this. Give me this. Alright, you can open your eyes now. Good, good. In case you haven't already. And uh we can start with episode one. Um let me look over let me look over at the clock really quick to see. Cause I wanna actually do episodic shit instead of just yammering on for five hours and expecting everyone to keep up with it all right episode one faith you ready for this fire i am ready yes uh, faith no more let's do it and then the game crashed did it no <laughs> i would stab myself in the face if we did all that and the game freaking crashed <laughs> Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale creatures known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. today again if you missed it a record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. 
I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Enough excuses. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place! So, what am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Why is he so pissed? So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Is he destroying all the office equipment already? Not even got into the office yet. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! So, yeah, um, you're introduced to the first fairy tale creature as being a cute little toad frog guy, and he's talking like a sailor, and that you're kind of sets the tone for this game. Am, you hear me? Yeah, I was gonna hey, say, you know, it's fairy me. tales no longer. He's just. Stop, okay? you're drunk. He's just kind of like, fucking hell. I'm just like, you're a cute little toad guy. Why are you talking like that? It's crazy. Anyway, we just picked up a matchbook, and I'm going to uh, put this phone back on the ringer. And uh, there's something going on in this apartment, because there's a lot of noise coming from inside. Let's be polite. Meet the huntsman. The light's gone out the window. God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Out, right from the start. All right, <laughs> <budget. clears throat> What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> 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 Couch. Had enough? Ooh. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh god. <laughs> In the face. Yes. Back off, asshole. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Yes, kneecap him. And you fucked him in the air. Sink. <laughs> oh god, he's got a knife. Call that a knife? I think it's a razor blade. Fucking glutton from 
punishment. Fuck you. And bad. Yes, pick his face off. <laughs> Ain't screwing around with this guy. Oh, oh god, he's got his axe. Oh, that's a deadly spike on your end. No! Ooh! Rough. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey! If you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bug my like jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck oh, he's you. <laughs> shit. So what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Uh, Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Okay, so what are you what doing are you here? doing here? These lips are sealed. Is she a lady of the night? Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult yeah, than it has to be. Yeah. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait outside. Come on. Ooh. Well, that is outside. <laughs> I <It> guess. <laughs> oh, wow. You can go back upstairs and see if you can get a blowy out of it. It. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> so do you have progressive? Can I get you anything? A pillow, <laughs> perhaps? So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you. And you come to help. I can't be made. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Press Q faster! I need to ask you more questions! Sorry, that was supposed to be Axe. <laughs> I was trying so hard to make that joke. <laughs> I think he's been cut down to size. Uh, there you go. Good, good, got it. Saved it. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. 
The guy's got an axe oh, in his brain. Lost cat. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be free. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Um, nah. He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. He's a stubborn son of a bitch. help her out yeah I'm gonna give her the matchbook that I picked up here thanks who do you work for really these lips are sealed sorry I was going to make another blowjob joke. Hey, you like my ribbon? Trying to help you. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. Ah, oh, jeez. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another, but things change, I guess. I guess. This reminds me of uh, Once Upon a Time. You ever watched that? TV mm. Shit. Very similar. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. You sure? Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. <laughs> We're that all getting on the gravy train. wasn't intentional. Sorry. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. I believe it. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. I wish I could help. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Uh, I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it Ooh, when I blood. see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Now how about that blowy? I'll see you around, Wolf. <laughs> These lips are sealed. <laughs> she went on to star in Mirror's Edge. Or maybe she came from Mirror's Edge. I don't know. Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> especially, not, especially not shitty cigarettes. Wait. Hey! That was the intro to the game. We're off to a great start. I think that's going to be about where I cut the episode. Um, but... How are you liking the game so far, Fire? I'm loving it. It's gonna be fun. 
Oh man, it's it's beautiful. I will go ahead and say, um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I do deliberately differently, um, that I didn't do on my first playthrough. Now that I know the entire story of what's gonna happen, um, but I won't point it out until after the fact, and it becomes relevant like more later down the road. If you know what sure. I mean. I think that'll I'm be kind fun. I'm watching blind, so that should pose like an interesting way of seeing this. Yeah.